guys, from Jazz Tutorials. Today we're going to be showing you how to create a cool glittery text effect. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I think you'll like it. You've liked most of my glittery thingy measures. So, let's get started, peoples. Okay, I'm going to go over here and open a file I have of a purple, like, glittery background. Um, I'll provide this for you in the description below because you will need this to make it look awesome. Alright, got that open, so let's go over here and click on T. And now for the text, I'm using this font here, as you see. Um, I will provide this also for you in the description because you may want to use it. Um, if you don't, that's okay, use your own font, doesn't matter, but for those that want to use it, I'll provide it for you in the description. Make sure that your text color is white, by the way, because uh, white is your basic color you need to use. So, once you have that to your settings, you can then start typing your text. Um, I'm just going to type jazz tutorials because, well, I, that's pretty much all I can think of, think of right now. Um, and the size of the font I'm using is 150px, by the way, just so you're aware. And, of course, you're going to want to center your text, obviously, so it gives it a cooler effect. Am I right? I'm right. Okay, so, now that your um, text is all centered in stuff, um, we now need to duplicate this layer. So you have a copy of that. Alright. Okay. Then go back onto the main layer, which is below onto the main layer that before the copy and um, on that one there yep there we go you need to rasterize that and we won't be using that really right now quite yet but we will eventually so here we go you're going to add a new layer above that in between the copy and the regular layer and I'm just going to change put the name as sparkle one just so I can distinguish it later on because it's going to get a little confusing with all these layers going around and whatnot. So, yeah. And uh, we're going to go over here to our brush now. And you're going to select Spatter 27px brush. It comes standard with Photoshop. Um, almost every uh, version has it. Um, if it's not automatically loaded into your Photoshop version, then all you got to do is click over here to the thing here. Uh, just click over here and you can click on load brushes and it should be somewhere in your presets I'm not sure which one it's called but it's in there trust me okay alright now you're going to need to zoom in quite a bit for this just so you can see um, this I'm zooming in a little bit here just so you can see it and just place your sparkles like that like I'm showing you here the top of each of the letters um, like I mean I know for example the zero or the O you won't put a sparkle on there because there's no really ending to it, but, um, yeah. And so, just continue. Okay, last one. Alright, there we have it. Now you can zoom back out. Now you don't really see the effect that much right now, but you want a second. So now, duplicate that layer by doing a command, a command C or a control C or control J, sorry. Keep forgetting. Yeah. Command J or control J. So duplicate that. And then you're going to name the copy layer of this one to sparkle 2. Okay, and as you can see, it's already brightened the sparkles a little bit than it was before. Alright, now, back down to the sparkle 1 layer. We're now going to uh, merge that with the uh, rasterized text layer we did in the beginning. So just right click on the uh, sparkle 1. Right clicking. Right, okay, sorry. My bad. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to sponge it instead. Sorry, oh my god, I'm being so confusing right now. You probably think I'm an idiot. But yeah, 
So over here, your smudge tool, 20px brush, and we're going to zoom in now, and we're going to add the glowing-ish type effects to this now on the sparkle one layer. Sorry that I was confusing to you. I just made a mistake. My bad. So yeah, okay. So over here, and you're going to take it, and with the um, smudge, you want to smudge it towards the letter. So for instance, I'm using the letter J. The letter J, you want to take the smudge tool and make the J itself, like kind of outline it a bit. And um, after this here, you'll see why and what we're doing and why and how it all glows out. It's basically we're making glowing edges. And you want to do that for every letter that you have with each sparkle so that the effect it illuminates. And, um, yeah. And then after you've done the smudging, then we'll do the merging of both layers. <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself right here. Oops, what did I do that for? Okay. I'm always getting ahead of myself in tutorials. I don't know why. But I'm not re-recording this because I don't want to. <laughs> so you can get what I said. Alright, now. Open yes. On the sparkle one layer. It's going to be merged now with the Jazz Tutorials main text layer, which was the rasterized one. And now they're one layer. So the rasterized text and the sparkle one are now one layer. Makes it very simple to work with. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go and click on that and open the layer styles. We're now going to add the glowing effects to each layer individually. So you're going to want to add these colors here. Now I'm typing them in here. Um, hopefully you can see them. If you can't, I'm sorry. Um, but use these colors here. Um, you don't have to do exactly what I've done. You can actually play around with it and see what effect looks good for you. But, uh, yeah, and 9px for the size. Yeah, and then you're good with that layer. So just click OK, you're good to go. And you should see that. Okay, then we're going to go to the next layer above that, which is Sparkle 2. And on Sparkle 2, you're going to add an outer glow as well. Those are outer glows that we're doing, by the way, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> and you're going to choose a lighter pink color like such. All right, got that. Okay, and then again, change the size to 9px. And then you're going to change the blend mode to linear light. That's right, linear light, guys. And then, again, just click OK because we're good to go. Now, we're going to work on the uh, text layer, the copy text layer, which is on top. So now double click on that one. And this one, we're not going to add, we're not going to add an outer glow. You're going to go to Bevel and Emboss. And you're going to click on Contour as well. But we'll do contour in a second, just we're going to work with Bevel Boss first. Everything else should be um, cool. All you're changing is basically the color of the shadow to a kind of dark purple pink color, like such. Yeah, that color there. Click OK, and you're good with that. Nothing more to do there. Everything should be all set. So then now, we're just going to click on contour right here and you just want to check off the anti alias just check that off and you should be good to go and click OK and one more final touch to this tutorial and you should be good to go just take the uh, sparkles 2 layer and maneuver it to the top all the way to the top and make the text layer below it and that's basically it guys that's the tutorial that's as easy as it gets. It's under 10 minutes, pretty much. Um, it's a 9 minute video, but really it took you only 9, min nine minutes to actually do the tutorial itself. Um, it's very simple. It looks pretty cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you love my tutorial, please like this video. Um, I like people that like my videos, because likers are awesome. Um, you can subscribe as well if you'd like. That's cool. I love subscribers. Um, if you're already subscribed, then you're awesome. Um, and yeah, there's not much more to this tutorial. I'm not sure what else I can say to persuade you to subscribe, but, uh, more awesome videos will come in the future. I promise you that. I will get more awesome as the year goes on. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, comment, like. Seriously. 
Subscribe, comment, like, I swear. Honestly, I need those people. Okay, bye. And this, my friends, is our final outcome. Awesome, right? Yeah, it is. Like, comment, and subscribe, please.